Hello and welcome back to PE Academy. So this is um, isometric drawing 17 and currently we are looking at isometric drawing uh, in which uh, one of the side is not fully at 30 degrees. So if you look at this diagram, you can see that this particular side is not uh, at 30 degrees compared to the other side which is one thing I significant with isometric drawing. So I'm going to be showing you how to go about this. And if you have been following from the beginning of this uh, video series, right now we are in 17. I want you to just pause this video and try to attempt this particular isometric drawing and see what you are able to come up with and let me know what your result is if you are able to get it if you had any challenges do leave them in the comment section below all right now let me start constructing it from my own end so to start with i'll start with my horizontal line so i already have my t square so that's the line i'm going to be starting with and i introduce the my set square So, you draw your vertical line and then you draw your 30 and 30 degrees on both sides. So, it turns the other way. Then you have the 30 degrees. So, now let's take the, uh, the measurements. So, with what we are having here, from, from here to here is 50 millimeter. Why from here to here is 20 as indicated here. Why from here to here is 40. So let's take those. So let me measure those points. So here is. Fifty millimeter. So for the 50 millimeter, let me go ahead and just. And just draw it out. That is 50. And why this is 20 millimeter? So this is 20, and this is 40. And 40. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is So from this end, I'm going to draw a vertical line. So make sure your, your S square is sitting properly on your T square. So I will do the same thing from this end also. So from here, now I want to draw this line, so I'll pick it from me. There's no need to measure it once I draw the line to come and touch the vertical line. So from where it is touching this vertical line, I'll turn my source square the other way. So from the point of intersection, I'm going to have something like this. So let me make this line bold, the thick line. Alright, so this is what our drawing currently looks like. So now from here, so here is 20 mm. So let me measure that. 20 mm is same as 2 cm. So this is it. fence line now is this particular line and I'm also going to be drawing a vertical line from that point so this particular point we are having here this is it here and don't forget from here to here is 25 millimeter that's 2.5 so let me measure it's 2.5 so this is 2.5 
So also, from here to here, the total height there is, is uh, 45. You can see 45. You can see it is not indicated here. But if you look at it on this side of the drawing, here from here to here is 20. Why from here to here is 25? So that's 45. So that's another thing you need to know when you are dealing with isometric drawing. Sometimes a particular side might not, the dimension might not be given. But if you look at it from the uh, other side of it, you'll be able to get the, the dimension. Alright, so let's continue. So I'll bring back my set square. So what we want to do now is, from this point here, we are going to draw line this way and from here this way, their point of intersection will give us um, this point. So from here, I'm using a faint line. So once we get the point of intersection, we can make it uh, bold. Like this. So, so you can see this is the point of intersection here. So I haven't gotten that. So we'll do the same thing at the top from here with a faint line. back and make this with a what with a gold line so now what we are going to do is this now we are going to join from here we are going to join it to this point now this we don't need the set square what we just use our ruler so from here so already have this line this is it here and then, so the distance from here to here is giving us, so you can see, 20 millimeters. So I'll just measure it. So this is it, 20. I'll also measure it down here. Twenty. So as you can see, we've been able to replicate what we have here. This is it here. Now let, let's look at something. Remember when we are drawing this top, we didn't measure it, but by virtue of isometric drawing, you can see this is giving us 30. Just the same 30 that we have there without even measuring it when we are constructing. So that those are some of the things that will let you to know if you are actually correct in your um, in your drawing. So let me go ahead and add the dimensions. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Alright, so that is it for this video. So let me just move it away from my flash so that you can see it properly. So, so this is what we are having. Alright, so if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question or any comment with regards to this video, do leave them in the comment section below. And let me know if you actually attempt this question before uh, getting to look at uh, my own construction. So let me know all of this in the comment section below. Uh, thank you very much and I'll see you all in Isometric Drawing 18.